Hi, my name's Peter, it's my wife Justine. Um, we've been married for 17 years. Uh, we have three children. They are 16, 14 and 12, and one of them is our foster boy. We live on the Northern Beaches, so we're always outside and very active, doing lots of sports. Um, we also go away on lots of holidays, camping on, on boats. And I love it when we're all together on the boat and we sort of go surfing and um, fishing and things like that. Yeah, we have a great life, I think. A lot of freedom around here living on the northern beaches. I've never really heard of fostering until I started seeing ads in the local paper. Um, we already had two boys and I really wanted more kids. So I approached Pete with the idea one day and he was really keen. We knew that our kids were incredibly spoiled and lucky to be living where they were and we wanted to be able to share the experience with someone who hadn't had those opportunities. There was a little bit involved in becoming a foster carer. Um, you were required to do a course where we went out and were trained on all aspects of becoming a foster carer. We also had um, caseworkers coming over and assessing us in our house and um, having several meetings with us so we were aware of what was going to be involved. But we always had people who were willing to help us along the way and give us lots of great information. We got a foster boy when he was four and he is turning 13 relatively soon. You know, your kids may not all get on all the time and there may be little problems, but he's part of our family. No matter what goes on, he's part of our family until the day he leaves our home and probably for the rest of his life. He'll always be classified that he is part of our family. Part of caring for a foster child is that you're also involved in meeting up with their birth parents. Originally, when we were first involved in meeting the birth mother, we were a bit anxious as to how it was going to go. But following you in every step of the way is your caseworker, who also goes along to the visit. And then very quickly you realise the birth parents adore their children. Over the years, you build a relationship with the biological parents, so you feel like you're working together as a bit of a team. I think first up, it was a, a big challenge um, because it was hard for where he came from. The poor kids moved into a new house with some brothers and it's a whole new environment for him. But a lot of it's a bit of a blur because you seem to overcome the big, the challenges and the, the bad parts and the good parts outweigh them by a long way, you know. It is 100% rewarding being a foster carer. Sure, there's some challenges along the way, but Overall, there's nothing better than looking back at where the child started from when they first walked through your front door into where they are now. They just become another part of your family and another one of your children. My one bit of advice for anyone thinking of becoming a foster carer is just to make the first step. You have so much support along the way and you will not regret it. And I would even look at doing short term. If you're not too sure about doing a full term with someone, look at doing some emergency fostering. I think there's a great need for that as well. Look at that um, as an opportunity to like put something back into the community. I think um, people, all of us out there, need to put something back into the community. We're always taking, maybe it's time to give something back. The Benevolent Society. When that moment comes, we're here. Call 1-800-236-762. Visit benevolent.org.au.